that empowers the weak and emboldens the scared. A love that tears down walls of hate, welcomes in the stranger, eats with the sinner, heals those crippled in body, mind, and spirit. A love, O oh Lord, that will not let us be silent. A love that will not let us be still. A love that will not let us do nothing when we stare into the eyes of injustice and division. You are the God of Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac. No weak, ineffective God, but a God who overturns systems of oppression and hate. And Lord, we also know that the Red Sea doesn't part until we step into the muck and the mire. And when we do, you will make a way. And so we are gathered here this evening, O oh God. You have called us to go, to set your people free, to preach the good news to the poor, and proclaim release to the captives. In this world where people are hurting, broken, kicked aside, and pushed down, we go forth in your name to be used by you in the work of your kingdom. We do not go because we have all the answers. We do not go because we have all the details worked out. We do not go because we are the best people or the strongest leaders. We go because you have said, go. And I will be with you. And you promise, oh God, that that will be enough. God, you have and will make a way. We know that. We have lived it. You have called us. You have called us to release the captive and comfort the afflicted. Indeed, to confront the powers of death in the name of you, the Lord of life. May it be so. We pray boldly as your children, emboldened by your Spirit and in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, 